So here we are with the Ninja Speedy. I literally just got this delivered about an hour ago. So I unboxed it. I washed everything. I already had the chicken marinating this morning because I was anticipating getting it today, but I wasn't sure I'd get it today. Um, so this chicken I've just marinated. You could obviously just use whatever spices you want, but in the top of the box there was this speedy meal six easy meals to help you get started the first one right off the back was a burrito bowl so in my mind that's probably the easiest thing to start with um, but after looking at the recipe I see that the recipe is like it tells you one cup of beans and one cup of rice so in my mind you open a can of beans you use one cup what are you going to do with the rest of it so Right from the hip, I'm just going to adjust and tweak the recipe. I can definitely see where, as if this was a busy day and I just ran through the door from work, I would definitely just go strictly by the recipe and for the quick getting the supper to the table. But because I've got a little extra time, I'm just going to tweak it a little bit in learning the machine to see how it does. So I'm just going to go with what I think and see how it turns out. So with that being said, this is what I'm going to do. So I've got my Ninja Speedy unboxed and cleaned. I washed everything down. I have some chicken breasts that I marinated this morning. Uh, I was anticipating that I would get the Ninja Speedy today. So I went ahead and started those marinating. Now, of course, these meals, there's this little quick guide in the top of the box and it's designed for what they call 15 or 20 minute meals. Um, I know from watching other videos, it has to come up to steam. So we're going to do real time on this meal this evening, but looking at that burrito bowl recipe, um, it only uses one cup of beans and one cup of rice. Um, definitely, if I was running through the door, just getting home, needed to get supper on the table really quickly, I would probably just follow this recipe to the T and be done with it. But because I do have a little bit of time and I want to learn the machine, um, I've got a whole can of beans here. In my mind, I've opened a can of beans. I don't want to just use a cup. I want to use the whole can of beans. So I'm going to tweak. So... We're going to see how this works from the get-go. And like I said, this is learning the machine that you would have to do with anything new that you get. So this is how I'm going to do it today. I've got, I've actually got one and a half cups of rice that I've rinsed. I've got a can of black beans. I've got one cup of frozen corn. I've got some onion, a serrano chili that I diced up, but I took the seeds out of it so it won't be extremely hot. I've got some cilantro. I'm going to use some smoked paprika and some chili powder in the rice. And of course, some chicken broth as my liquid and some garlic. So we're going to get started. So I'm on sear, saute, and I'm on low, but I'm going to go low to four. go in with a little bit of avocado oil. Like I said, because I just want to get a little flavor on my onions and garlic. And I'm going to go in with my onions. that temperature does I may need to go up on it again it does look like the onions are beginning to sizzle there so you can see the onions are starting to cook just a little bit so I'm gonna let them go for like one minute then I'll put my garlic in and the rest of my ingredients and then we'll get the rice going and then we'll start it to cook in the entire meal so those onions are getting translucent so I'm going to go in with a little garlic 
about two cloves of garlic. And now I'm going to start adding some spices. So of course I want to add a little bit of salt on those onions. Some pepper. A little bit of chili powder because we've got chili powder on our chicken breast and a little bit of smoked paprika. Again, I'm just building flavors on that rice. I'm also going to go in with that serrano chili. That the flavors are starting to surround the kitchen. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with the rice, but I want to show you that before I go in with the rice. So you see we're getting some nice color on those onions and peppers and those spices. So now we're going to go in with the rice and kind of just cook that rice for a little bit before we start everything cooking together. So I'm going to go in with the rice and again, this was one and a half cups of rice and I did rinse it. That's why you see a little moisture in the rice. This is jasmine rice. And I did rinse it, and it's one and a half cups. So I'm just going to stir that rice around in those vegetables and that oil, and just get a little bit of color on that rice. Again, it's just going to add more flavor, but again, like I said, if I was pressed for time, I would probably do it just like the book says. I'm going to let this go for about two minutes. I'm going to add a little bit of salt since I put that rice in there. Our chicken broth will have some salt in it so we don't want to over salt it. I'm going to drop a little bit of oregano in there. I don't have any Mexican oregano, so I'm just going with regular oregano. Again, just building a little flavor. So I believe I've got that rice where I want it. So now I'm going to go in with the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to go in, this is one cup of frozen corn. I usually have frozen vegetables in the freezer for quick meals like this. I'm going to go in with that whole 15 ounce can of black beans. I'm going to go in with some cilantro. The juice of half a lime. And then I've got three cups of liquid here. I've got actually got two cups of chicken broth and one cup of water. And I'm going to pour that over that rice. Now, I already know that I put more ingredients in here than that recipe called for. It says that for my chicken breast, the chicken breast should take 15 minutes to cook. So we may have to cook the rice a little longer once our protein is done, but again, this is us figuring out the machine. So this is what it looks like once we've got our liquid in there. So now we're going to add our protein and turn it to the speedy function and let it cook. Okay, so this air fryer tray has these little feet that you're going to pull out like that and lock in place so that you set it in there like that and we're going to put our chicken now before I marinated this chicken I've only got two here but I'm sure you could do more it's just what I had so we're going to put that in there like that and 
I did pound those chicken breasts just a little bit to get them the uh, even thickness. And like I said, it says 10 to 15 minutes for unbreaded chicken. So we're going to set that speedy on 15 minutes and then we're going to check the temperature and see where we're at in 15 minutes. So I've got that chicken in there. We're now going to flip it to rapid cooker and then we're going to move it So I actually had to turn it off and turn it back on to switch over to rapid cooker. I'm not sure if I did something wrong. I'll have to check my manual. But anyway, so now we're on speedy meals. We're at 390 temperature, and we're going to start it the time at 15 minutes. Now I'm going to time it and see how much time it takes it to get up to when it actually starts cooking. I'm going to actually prepare a salad to go with this while I'm waiting on it to come up to steam. So nine minutes is how long it took it to start cooking, to get, build up the steam and start cooking nine minutes. It smells amazing in here already. So I'm going to let it go for the 15 minutes and then we'll test the temperature of the chicken. So the Ninja just cut off, it cooked for 15 minutes, it come up to temperature for 9, then it cooked for 15, so I'm going to check the temperature of the chicken. Wow, look at the color on that chicken. Let's see what the temperature is, but you couldn't ask for a more beautiful piece of chicken. So we're at about 180 on the temperature in the thickest part of that chicken, so it's definitely done. I hope it is still juicy. We'll take it off, let it rest, and then we'll slice it up and see. So I'm going to take this tray off and see what our rice looks like. So that's what it looks like before I stir it. Let's take a stir and see. So just looking at it, I was actually thinking I'd have to cook it longer, but I don't think. I'm going to get a little spoon and test it and see. Y'all, so that's pretty impressive. In 15 minutes, that rice is perfect, and I definitely have texture issues. So I'm going to say this is rice, for me, is cooked perfectly. And I really thought I would have to let it go a few more minutes because, you know, I did make more than what the recipe called for. The only thing I'm going to do to this is just add a little bit of garnish. I'm going to add in a little bit of cheese and some green onions, and this dinner is done. So I've got some green onions and a little bit more cilantro that I'm going to stir in right at the end. And really, if we have gone any longer on that, it would have really been too dry. I think cooking it a little bit in the beginning helped. But y'all, I'm going to say that this machine, at first glance, is pretty impressive. Even though we had to do a little prep before, but literally in 15 minutes once it started cooking. I'm going to go in with some cheese right here. This is a habanero cheddar that I found the other day. And I absolutely love it. I hope it's not a limited time. I hope they keep it around, but I'm going to stir that into that rice, and then I'm going to slice, slice up our chicken breast, and then I'm going to show you how we're going to plate it. Yeah, so take a look at that. If that ain't a beautiful plate, you would have never thought that it came together in just as short a time as it did. I'm going to add just a little bit of avocado there on that burrito bowl. I'm going to add a salad to that, and dinner is basically ready. I've never met a Ninja product that I didn't like, but I think this Ninja Speedy is definitely going to be another great product for me. Like I said, this recipe was straight out of the box, straight off of the hip, and you see what a beautiful plate I created. So if you would like to see more, please like and subscribe. 
I do think on the recipe, I will say that the, the chicken breast was not overly dry, but I think the next time if I were to do that over, I would pull that chicken breast at 12 minutes versus 15. Or if I had more chicken in there, if I had four breasts versus the two breasts, it probably would have been fine at 15 minutes. Again, if you want to see more videos of me finding out how to tweak this machine and tweak recipe recipes, please like and subscribe to see more. Enjoy.